Welcome here, this is Regan uh, from ExploreRay.com um, Today I am back in Oslo, I'm in a different hotel than I used to be in uh, The reason is that I am I have seen, <coughs> I'm a big Top Gear fan um, I really really enjoy their shows and yesterday or this weekend they are, they are here in Oslo uh, delivering a, a the arena tour uh, as so I went there yesterday and um, uh, because like you know I'm a very avid enthusiast uh, amateur photographer and of course I would like to take some images but it also uh, got me a, a little bit of thinking done and um, the the thing is that um, I I just would like to read a little bit about the the statues of um, I was wondering actually if I was allowed to bring any camera gear to that event uh, I can of course I can show you any images because uh, um, this is a commercial event uh, and uh, you can't use it for any commercial purposes but uh, but um, I did some talk regarding the photography and the equipment and let me just read a little bit about the statues first of all this is in Telenor Arena which is the I think it is the largest indoor arena in Norway and that's why of course this event was held here but they have some they have an FAQ on their website and it says what I am allowed to bring with me into the arena during an event and uh, they have like three things which which regards uh, which regards uh, you can say video and, and photography <coughs> that is external detachable flash for camera photo camera with removable lens and audio and video recording devices and and that's that's fair enough that's totally fine no problem and the Top Gear Arena or the Top Gear um, Live. Uh, also have an FAQ regarding their event and I checked because I want to do everything uh, by the book and um, they have a, a FAQ and they have a statement saying is there any restriction regarding amateur photography and I, I'm, I'm translating directly here uh, because it's in, in Norwegian but it says that it's allowed to take pictures for the show for personal use it's not allowed to be used a video camera, lenses over 190 millimeters, and photography with a flash inside the arena. Use of camera gear and recording devices with the purpose of using it in commercial um, contents is strictly uh, uh, forbidden. Um, no one uh, uh, is allowed to use, uh, use equipment that can do recordings, send or receive signals, uh, digital or otherwise signals during the show with a commercial intent. And this is fine, but of course, um, I think this was rather funny for me to read this because um, during like, for those who are really interested in gear and so on, they have had the, um, uh, the big discussion lately about um, okay, what system type style camera is the best for the future? Is it still the DSLR? Is it the mirrorless? Or what can, can you do? My point is that in this content in context, for for an amateur, they are both useless. You can if you have a let's say a Samsung NX system or a small Sony a system or something like that or a Nikon M or Canon or what, is, what all of these small mirror systems they can they are still not in compliance with those kind of rules which I anticipated is pretty universal anywhere so as long as you can detach your lens aka having a system, a, a, a system style camera you cannot use them in an arena and that is kind of interesting another thing also i think find was very interesting is that the top gear has specifically set a limit for 190 millimeters for what is allowed to bring they they, they doesn't say 
that they aren't allowed to bring a system camera. But still, the choosing of 190mm is kind of interesting because, to my knowledge, I don't know any telephoto zoom lens which doesn't cover the 190mm. So, for instance, you cannot use a 18-250 from Tamron. You cannot use a 70-200 which everybody delivers. You cannot use like a 70-300 or anything similar to that. And also the interesting thing is that you are starting to get, of course they are in, in the birthplace, but you are starting to get compact cameras or a point and shoot, um, a point and shoot with like a 50 times zoom, almost like a video camera for still images. Uh, they are still rather flimsy and bad at what they do, uh, but but they are going beyond the reach of. Uh, 190 or 200 millimeters. So you aren't allowed to bring those either. So what, uh, for, for my sake, what did I have that I could bring? Um, I had a couple of options. I could of course bring, I, I couldn't bring my GoPro. Of course, I couldn't bring any of my DSLRs. Of course. I couldn't bring my GoPro. I had an Olympus Tough, but that, that isn't useless for anything over water. <laughs> In my opinion, especially regarding those other cameras I have, so I had two other options. First one is this. This is, of course, I'm talking about talking about this before. This is the Fuji X100s. This is 25 or 24 millimeters with a crop sensor, so it's a 25 millimeter equivalent, and it hasn't a detachable lens. It has a detachable um, sun uh, sun flare protection, but but it has no detachable lens. So, of course, that you can use. The problem, of course, is that the 35mm focal length, and since you're not allowed to use a flash, and you're indoors, and you might just try to get a kind of an action shot, um, and so on and so forth, um, I didn't use it for one single shot yesterday. I brought it with me, but it stayed in my pocket the entire time. So what did I use? Uh, when I took some images for my Facebook page, uh, for it's my Facebook page and maybe my Twitter account, that is the only thing I could use it for. That was this one. This is um, my Canon PowerShot G1 X Mark II, which I bought earlier this year. Um, this is a very nice camera and it actually has a um, the lens says 12.5 uh, to 62.5 millimeter, but it is equivalent from a 24 to 105, I think, or 24 to 120 in that area. So this camera actually here fits the bill uh, for kind of everything. It's um, it is it delivers good quality shots of course the, for those of you who are familiar with this camera I can quickly sum it up it has an almost APCSC -A -A uh, crop sensor it is almost as large as uh, Canon's DSLR's um, uh, crop sensor camera sensor in this camera and um, it has a uh, a very good LCD screen. It has the, the, the big zoom lens, uh, like I mentioned, um, with the big uh, zoom uh, focal range, which covers mostly things, and it takes sharp images, but it also has some of the nice things about the point and shoot cameras. You have, for instance, some custom menus, you have, you have the possibility of manual uh, uh, aperture priority, time variation, P mode, but you also have some scenes uh, and some creative shot modes, which I actually find kind of interesting. And um, the problem, of course, with the point and shoot, and I was, um, the problem I think with the point and shoot and so on, is that it is terribly slow, compared especially to the DSLR. So I took some shots and I ended up actually because I was trying because um, 
at such an event like uh, the Top Gear event, which is spectacular and extremely funny and, and things go fast and it's a lot of action. Um, what I ended up with using was actually the creative mode in natural, um, in natural setting. So they actually, they tried to find out based on the scene, uh, the camera itself tried to find out what they were supposed to do. But, and uh, my point, um, the point I'm trying to make here is that actually, maybe the point and shoot isn't dead. Um, maybe the point and shoot have a kind of market for um, the traveling companion, the places you can, the traveling companion when you don't want to bring everything but you still need some focal lines to bring. Um, um, you you uh, you want some high resolution shots because of a larger sensor. Uh, you might need different things. So, um, for me yesterday, just being able to document that I was there and I I got some shots even though I never will show them to the world except for some of my friends on Facebook. Um, it is. Um, this little camera here uh, from Canon, which is a the new, maybe maybe the last version of the traditional point and shoot, the larger sensor, semi pro, uh, non mirrorless point and shoots kind of cameras, uh, with a large lens. Um, maybe that is, um, made for just these kind of circumstances because. Um, what I experienced maybe for the first time yesterday was that when when you are uh, when you are in a a circumstance where you are allowed to do something but you're not allowed to do everything or you're not allowed to do nothing which you sometimes are um, this actually can be a really handy piece of uh, kit. So, uh, this was just a um, short little uh, epiphany, a short little uh, experience, uh, which uh, adds up to the other very nice experiences I had during the show yesterday. Um, so, just a word of advice, just remember to to read the 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 guidelines and the rules and restrictions on where you are and what you're allowed to to pho photograph, and try to configure your equipment and uh, bring bring what is what is allowed and don't forget to to, to uh, make the best of the event. This is Ray, currently in a hotel room in Oslo. Uh, take care and have an excellent weekend. Goodbye for now.